Hey everyone, Chris Gambit here for thephotographer.com, and today I'm here to answer a very burning question for many of you guys. These right here are CF cards. One is the brand new 32 gigabyte 1000 times speed UDMA 7 card, and the other one is a much older card. Sorry about that, trying to keep it in focus. It's an 8 gigabyte CF card at 133 times speed. Now, which one do you really need, and what are the differences in cards? So in order to test that, we're going to give them a full run-through. Right behind there, I've got my Canon 7D, and we're going to put both cards into the camera, test out the single-shot performance, and test out the continuous-shot performance, and figure out what happens from there. So let's take a look. Right here, I have my Canon 7D. And this is the 8 gigabyte card at 133 times speed. So we're going to load that up right now. And now I'm going to turn on the 7D. Just like so. And then I'm going to set it to continuous drive mode. And let's see just how long it takes to buffer. Notice how I'm still pressing down. Okay. It's buffering, it's buffering. It's buffering. It's still buffering, and you can tell that, and it's evident by the red light right there. Still buffering. Image finally comes up. Still buffering. Even longer. This is actually taking quite a bit of time. Longer, longer, longer. While I'm doing this, okay, now it's done. I'm going to set it to single shot performance. And we're going to see how that does. So, now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And once again. Cool. So that was the 8 gigabyte card at 133 times speed. Now what we've got here is the Lexar Professional 32 gigabyte UDMA 7 1000 times speed card. So let's load that up into the 7D. Let's turn it on. And we're going to test the single shot performance first. So, one, pretty quick. Let's try that again. You can see just how long it's taking to buffer the image, but you're right down there. Okay, now let's try continuous shooting mode. Let's see what happens. As you can see, um, it actually let me constantly write images quicker, even though after a while I only get it in two-shot burst. But actually, as you can also see, it's finished writing all the images. Let's do that one more time. And it's still going. Still going. And it's done. Super quick. Super quick on the newer cards. If you need that performance, then go for the newer cards. If not, then, I mean, the older cards will do fine. For most of my work, I'm a portrait guy, so I don't really need that type of speed. The older card is actually perfectly fine for me. But if you're shooting sports, or if you're doing paparazzi work, or event work, or weddings, maybe you might need the faster card. It's really up to you. It really depends on your shooting style, too. Usually, I'm not even shooting in continuous shooting mode. I can usually just get the shot in one frame. So, I mean, yeah, but that's just me. Thanks a lot, guys. Once again, my name is Chris Gambit for thephilographer.com. Appreciate you watching.